Hey everybody, welcome to the Infinite Regression. Hey, it's been a hot minute since we've done it this way, you know, where I'm going to review a game. This feels like I haven't done it in a while, you know, because reasons, and also I haven't done it in a while, so like, you know, that's a whole thing. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's, it's time, we'll just, you know, stare in here. The feel depressed. M moving on. We're going to play Crash Wheels. Um, because it's a game. The, this is one of the 49 cent games that I picked up uh, in the Halloween sale. Oh, wait. Put it on my display number two. My right one. Wait. Nope. Hold up. Hold up, buckaroo. Buckaroonie. Close that window. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Let's hit. Okay. All right. Now you can do it. There we go. Made with Unity. Personal edition. Okay. So, uh, yes. I don't feel... Controller Z's. I don't hear noises. Is it making noises? Oh, here we go. Uh oh. Oh, this guy riding my tail unfairly. That's mean. Yeah, he did. He broke my door hinge. Anyway. Um. So I'm making a lot of achievements, which is, you know, making me feel, uh, ridiculous. Boom. I win. I win. Uh, next level. Three, two, one. But everybody like crashed. Everybody crashed. And I don't know, um... How, like, okay, yeah, oh, jeez, and, oh, uh, you lose, <laughs> restart, so, like, if you make it to the end of the level, oh, hold up, my phone is going off, ah, 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 pause, okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm back, um, Okay, first of all, I noticed something. Hold up, let me bring up Steam. Look at how many achievements this has. I've achieved 46 of them. There are still 1,163 left. That's obscene. So this is basically an auto-achiever game. I'm always surprised whenever I find basically an auto-achiever game that doesn't uh that I didn't already own because those are the kinds of games that uh the dingus russians were uh purchasing when they took over my steam account uh back when see I don't think I need to be first I just think that I need oh god okay so that guy that guy takes you out if you don't pick up the pace so so I was holding back I was like oh I'm just gonna you know lay back here yeah into the wall dingus just pit maneuvered you oh he gonna pit maneuver me I can't go faster I cannot physically go faster oh god uh do I have a reverse do I have a reverse? I sort of, sort of do. Okay, I can't, I can't, I can't go. Oh, thank you, kind stranger. You unstuck my car. Except for you drove us both off a cliff like a jerk. Yeah, those gray cars are suicidal. Okay. I'm surprised that with the high number of achievements in this game. I have not achieved like 37 things just by dying several times on this level. Oh God. And I, yeah, I really, 
<sighs> okay. I wish there was sound, you know? That makes this game really boring. Like, oh, you're a car, and you're racing, but you're like, you know, you you don't have car noises, or, uh, are you serious? Like, the slightest thing gets me, like, hold up, exit, t okay, settings. Oh, I do have a volume. Okay. Back. Play. Is it making noises? It is! There are noises! Okay. Car noises! Vague car type noises. Ah, oh, come on, man. Uh, I'm too wrecked up. I can't scarcely do it. Anyway, um, yeah, restart. Okay. Well, at least there's the sound of, like, very, very ridiculously light car noise. That's not at all that, that satisfying. Oh, you jerk. Like, why? Why'd you got a wreck right there? Uh, see, I'm thrown by the incompetence of others. Oh my goodness. Okay. 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 Boom. I win. Oh, thanks, IJK. Ha ha ha. That was starting to not be great. Hello, <laughs> man. So I get three achievements for starting a level and three for finishing. Oh, geez. This game is sort of a game, kind of. Oh my god, be worse. Holy crap. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Oh. Boom. I win. Now that time, I actually did win. Cause like everybody else crashed out. Pit maneuver you. I need you coming to pit maneuver me. Oh God, what? Why? Down to the fiery pit of Mordor. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Don't. Like, you jerk. Oh, I'm still in command of my vehicle. Boom. I win. Okay. Just achieving right, left, and center. And if I cared about Steam achievements, I would be very impressed with myself. But I really don't. Really don't care about Steam achievements at all.
Okay, okay, here we go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Come on, bring it in. Oh, you son of a... That was a dirty move. Do you see how he sideswiped me midair? Okay, here's the thing. Let, let me... So, I've spent so much time wrestling with this game. I haven't spent enough time talking about it. Like, first of all, the other car's AI is ridiculous. Especially those great cars, because that's what they do. Like, they just find you and take you out. And these red cars are ridiculous. Like, um, so it's basically like trying to, like, okay, the idea behind this game is actually kind of smart. Like, it, it's like, um, Fall Guys, but with cars. Like, that, that idea right there is solid. Like, that is a solid idea for a game. Someone should 100% take this concept and actually make a decent game out of it. You know, with music and, like, you know, realistic car sounds, or at least, you know, car sounds that sound fake in a way that we are used to. <laughs> From, you know, other arcade type car games. Anyway, th so that would be great. Um, but, like, you know, just the, uh, the unpredictable nature of the other drivers makes it kind of a chore to play because like anyone might take you out for literally no reason at any time like this guy is like looking to take me out for literally no reason ah uh, god I, I kind of took myself out just there um so you know, what this game has, like, the, uh, the physics are pretty good, uh, pretty solid, like, actually, you know, and, and the crash effects are pretty solid, um, enjoy that, um, actually, you know, uh, decent camera controls and whatnot, um, decent controls in general, well, I mean, like, y you, you start sliding pretty quickly, uh, cause these cars, they're, you know, Mustang types, they look like American cars, so they are made for, like, long straightaways, and not for, you know, any amount of curves, like, see all European auto manufacturers, um, statements on American cars, ever, and, and you will see what I mean, what I'd be talking about. Anyway, um... So, yes, like... Uh, ha 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 ha. Okay, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it to the end. We're gonna be in third place, even though we win. Because there's only winning or completely losing in this game. That's all there is. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Ugh. Yeah, that's true. Anyway... How dare you? Wait a minute. There's like some music going on. Very low background. Hold up, that's not my music, is it? Confirmed, not my music. Okay. So there is a soundtrack to this game. It's just so... Okay, what happened to my... There we go. Now I'm under controller control again. For a minute it wasn't recognizing my controller. And I was like, pacha. Oh, uh, really? Ooh, I could still drive. I might still win. But yeah, you can see how like you could take this idea and turn it into a good game. This is like n not quite that. You know what I'm saying? Not quite that.
so, um, yeah, here we go, Pachum, Pachum, okay, make it, make it, here we go, boom, I win, yes, yes, I did, okay, um, so, I, there is a certain level of satisfaction if you're thinking like, oh, he's just going to crap on this game because it's, you know, uh, kind of ridiculous. Like, yeah, I am going to crap on this ga game because it's kind of ridiculous. Like, that, that much is true. But also, like, I am going to give it fair marks for what it is doing that is, you know, good, right, and interesting. Oh my god, that was insane. Like, hooray for you, game. You did a thing. Like, it, I, it, it's hard to even kind of put your finger on um, what would make this a more, like, Fall Guys appropriate, you know, car style remake of Far Fall Guys. You know, um, but you, you can see what I'm saying, yes? You can understand, like, my contention that, like, this is almost a really good idea being executed. Oh, here we go. Yeah, took a licking and kept on ticking. Um, just like Pat McManus. Remember Pat McManus? You kids who did speech and debate in the 90s? <laughs> because nobody else freaking remembers Pat McManus. Except speech and debate nerds from the 90s. Okay. Okay, this could go bad. Yeah, knew it. Oh, jeez. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Okay, so did those actually puncture tires? Because, like, <clears throat> it didn't seem like it had much effect. Yeah. Anyway, I, I think what you need in order to make this uh, Fall Guys with Cars is, like, simultaneously, like, uh, more obstacles... Um, and like, oh, I like <laughs> plowed through the end there. Like, simultaneously more obstacles and like, uh, actually have multiplayer. Like, that would do it. Um, because then you would get, instead of this, like, you know, th this car AI that starts off kind of like, you, you get the feeling that they're really trying to be reasonable. And then, like, it, it just always... <coughs> sorry. I got very emotional. Um, it just always devolves. You know, everybody will start off going, you know, same speed, straight. You know, and you're like, oh, okay. Everybody's minding their P's and Q's. And then all of a sudden, it is absolute mayhem. And I think real human drivers would, like do a little more like you wouldn't get nonsense like that like this guy just driving me off a cliff for no reason you you would get more strategic driving like you know people intentionally hanging back a little bit so they could you know avoid some of the crashes or some people speeding way ahead for the same reason and you know like some people just hanging hard left and some people hanging hard right you know it, and people having different strategies and approaches that you know could all sort of work but also if you had more types of obstacles um more types of obstacles human drivers or like better ai ai that's like easier to predict if you know what i mean yeah see this guy's gonna be first but i'm gonna win I did win. 
Anyway, we'll do one more level and then we're going to be done with this. Um, Because, yeah, I feel like the idea here is solid, but like somebody just took this game, turned it into an auto-achieving nightmare, and, you know, just l let it be that, and then didn't seem to give a crap that, like, a perfectly good idea was going to waste in the wreckage of an otherwise, you know, interesting car game. Anyway. Yeah, that's it. Exit to menu. Yeah, exit this game. Anyway, uh, what's Crash Test? Okay. Well, that's part of it, I guess. Okay, are these balls like... Nope, they are not bouncy. Can confirm not bouncy. <laughs> like running into the Epcot Center. Which I've only done twice, so you can stop your complaining about me running into the Epcot Center. Oh, press X to repair. Okay. This is kind of an open world business. Oh, jeez. Okay, come on. All right. Is it glass? Okay, I am repaired. break there like you do we hit this going faster than before maybe oh <laughs> yay that was kind of fun anyway Alright, let's do a wrong way lap on the track. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. This is going like 110 miles an hour backwards. I don't know how that happens. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's go in the wrong direction. Wrong direction. Here we come. All right. Now over to this nonsense. We should be going fairly fast now. And that's why the border wall is such a rousing success. It's all about them slats, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Did it. Okay, let's go find out what this nonsense is.
Well, this is some nonsense. It's some supreme nonsense. Let's repair ourselves. And then balls. We've got the biggest balls of them all. Okay. Can I go back up the down? Yeah, and you hear that, like, sort of almost generic pop-punk music in the background. Anyway. Oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me... Oh, I see a loop over there. Hold up. I do have a thing to do before I exit this. Oh, extreme embankment trap, track. I did say trap. Okay, is, uh, yeah, okay. Let's crash into it. That's step number one. Crash directly into it. Okay, let's get up here a little bit. Okay, here we go. Nice. Ooh, parking garage simulator. Oh, man. And mud boggin. Woohoo! Mud a boggin. Okay, as someone who has done some mud bogging in his life, that's not entirely accurate. Uh, but we will forgive this, I suppose. Wait, hold up. Let's do this again. Woo! Now, I do want to hit this and then go straight into the parking garage round and round the. Okay, now, like I swear, I need to like drift for that to be an even a possibility. Either that or I need to take it much slower take it much slower like just driving up to my park parking spot oh god come on <laughs> okay the handling of these cars is not the best oh that's another thing unlockable cars with different car stats like you know faster but worse handling faster but better like uh damage takes more damage you know, stuff like that. Just basic stuff that you would think would be in a game. I just realized my license plate says Sandy for some reason. Anyway. Okay, let's see if we can go to the top of the mountain. Because why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we be able to? Come on, Sandy Cheeks. Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> you almost forget that you're driving straight up a mountain. And then, you know, your car slowly gets the correct traction and then you're like boom 
boom did it oh my god there's like actual track up here Anyway, okay, whoa. Okay, I, I think that's where we call it. Um, all right, all right, interesting. Interesting, many things to think about. Give me a sec. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, like, here's the thing, sometimes a game can legitimately be fun and also be frustrating for what it's not. Now, granted, I know I played, I paid 49 cents for this game. I know that I did not, you know, break the bank for this. Um, but to get something that's built on a really solid idea and then to have it not quite executed the way it could be is a, a different kind of frustration you know what i'm saying like there's frustration when you just have an out and out bad game you know that's crap controls doesn't teach you how to play it it's just not a good experience from the get-go that's not this game like that is not this game at all like this game has a lot going for it crash wheels has a ton going for it um you know it is a solid idea you know, at the core of this game is a really good idea. And, um, like, so when you're playing the level mode, it's kind of fun. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, you know, even pretty fun depending on the level. Um, some levels are more fun than others, trying to make your way through and figure it out. But, um, yeah, it just, it's a little bit short on the execution. So, like, yeah, there's only one volume slider, so that, like, pop punk they got blasted in the background is, like, way in the background. The engine noises are all very drony. So the sound design is way off to start with. Like, it, it's 49-cent game type of sound design. So uh, that would need to be fixed, number one. Uh, number two, the AI of the other cars, like figure out how to make them more human, um, would be ideal. Uh, you know, cause games do this all the time. Like when you're playing your dot IO multiplayer games, um, a lot of the time you are the only human player in the server on those. I don't know if you knew that, but it's true. It, a lot of the time it is, um, you know, other it, it's AIs that have been taught how to play because um, you know they they don't actually have the capability to run the type of vast uh, multiplayer uh, experience that they seem to be presenting. So there are ways to create very realistic human like because a lot of play, people who play IO games. Uh, your Agario, your Slitherio, you know, those type of games. I don't realize, and, and I only found this out when I started watching developer videos, that um, that's not technically real AI, um, or not, not real AI, real multiplayer. So there's a way to do that to make it a, a bit better. And, and so even if you're doing fake multiplayer uh, there's a way to make that better and make it feel more like um, just crazy free for all, um, you know. And and you can do that with the other car AI, and you can do it with the type and difficulty of the obstacles. Like I would be okay with a game like this being much harder to reach the finish line, and you having to take multiple tries to do it. Um, if it were like just nuts and it had like a whimsical background soundtrack and you were like, oh God, it's basically Fall Guys, but with cars. That's the name of that game, right? Fall Guys. I've seen footage of it. I have not played it myself. Is you know, everybody played it when it became free on a uh, PlayStation Network is what I hear. <laughs> but I, I myself have not played it. Um, anyway, regardless, 
Uh, so there are a lot of things you can do to make this game better. And the, you know, the open world version, the crash test version of it um, is really fun. And there's a lot to do there. And that's exactly right. Um, anyway, uh, and if there were any way to throw in there a park editor, you know, a la Tony Hawk and stuff, where you could, you know, make your own insane car parks and stuff, that would be awesome. Um, and, and then of course, like by the time you've added all that in, you've got a game that you can't charge 49 cents for, uh, you've got a game that you've got to charge, you know, upwards of, you know, 25, 35 bucks for, which would be absolutely fine because the idea is so good that you could make that type of a game and it would sell like people would pay to play that game. And so the fact that what this what Crash Wheels delivers is not that game, but is the idea of that game semi executed is kind of frustrating. But like, don't get me wrong, I did enjoy playing it. There's a reason this video is longer than most of the Halloween video game uh, reviews. Anyway, so here's what I'm saying. I'm saying a 7 out of 10 Milky Ways. Um, why Milky Ways? Because Milky Way is a candy bar that's almost there. Like, if someone gives you a Milky Way, you're not like, I curse you and your family. <laughs> May all your children be born naked. Like, you don't... That's not how anyone reacts to getting a Milky Way. Like, it's fine. It, it's chocolate, which means that it's, you know, a better candy than most. But, be that as it may, it is chocolate and very gooey caramel, but not like super good tasting caramel. And there are things you could do. You could make it a salted caramel, number one. That'd be awesome. That's all the rage these days. You could make it a thicker caramel, because it's real, like, soft caramel. And, and for some reason, it just doesn't, doesn't do it. Also, there are other ingredients that you can add other than just chocolate and caramel. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying go nuts. Like, there are some candy bars that are like, we're going to add uh, pretzels and Doritos and, you know, Sour Patch Kids and sprinkles and we're going to uh, roll it in Play-Doh and we're going to, you know, like, you can go too far with going too far. But, like, you know... Uh, if they made a thick caramel Milky Way with nuts in it, like, and go interesting, go like a different nut than other people do, do like, uh, cashews or something, you know, like, uh, go hazelnuts, uh, or, or something. And, you know, you, you would have a different type of product that would be better, <laughs> you know. So, yeah, Milky Ways have always found a little bit frustrating that they're not better than they are. You know what I'm saying? And, and same with Crash Wheels. That's my take on this game. Anyway, ladies and gents, that's it for this one. I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.